Today we're going to discuss IUD insertion. Here is a picture of the devices available in the United States, the Mirena IUD and the Paragard IUD. The contraceptive effective rate is greater or equal to 99% for both devices. The Mirena contains levonorgestrel and is effective for five years in the United States. The Paragard contains copper and is effective for 10 years. Indications for the Mirena and Paragard are contraception, and, and Mirena also has an indication for menorrhagia. Side effects of Mirena IUD, greater than 10% of patients will have missed menstrual periods and changes in their bleeding. Five to 10% will have depressed mood, acne, headache and migraine, heavy or prolonged menstrual bleeding, and 20% will stop having periods after one year. Contraindications of Mirena IUD and Paragard, an abnormal uterine cavity, pelvic infection or multiple sexual partners, pregnancy, the possibility of gynecologic cancer, and unexplained vaginal bleeding. Contraindications specific to Paragard would be a copper allergy, and those specific to Mirena would be breast cancer, a history of liver disease, silicone, polyethylene, or levonorgestrel allergy. Considerations. Make sure the patient has no contraindications, their pregnancy status is known, and all contraceptive options have been discussed. And prior to the procedure, you may want to consider mesoprostol or prophylaxis for pain with anti-inflammatory medications or anxiolytics. IUD insertion. Here is a video showing how to perform an IUD insertion. First, perform a pelvic exam and then cleanse the cervix with betadine as long as the patient has no allergy. Place a tenaculum on the cervix, then sound the uterine cavity, assemble the device, insert the device, the device to the fundus of the uterus, pull back approximately one to two centimeters, deploy the device and then wait approximately 10 seconds, remove the applicator and trim the string three to four centimeters from the cervical os. Remove the tenaculum, and apply silver nitrate if needed.